Hi, welcome. My husband just came back from a trip and I was thinking of something to spoil him with. And I couldn't think of any better cake than the chocolate coke cake with a lovely thick and smooth ganache frosting. This cake needs to get in the oven so he can eat it. I'm going to start off with a dry ingredient. Two cups all-purpose flour, half a cup sugar, two tablespoons the vanilla powder, and two teaspoons baking powder, and half a cup cacao powder, and then a pinch of salt, just a pinch, not too a lot, just a pinch. And the wet ingredients would be four eggs. I've added five eggs because the eggs were very small, but four large eggs. Half a cup of oil. I've used sunflower oil for this. And then, of course, the queen of this whole cake would be the Coke. I couldn't find any normal Coke, so I have Coke Zero here today. And it is one cup of Coke. And I tell you, I want to take a sip of this, but I won't. We just pour it all in there and mix it together. This is a beautiful moist cake. So I'm spoiling my husband today with a recipe that I got from his mother. I've lined a silicone cake pan with a wax paper circle that I folded and cut to prevent the cake from sticking. But let's get this beauty into the oven. I've heated the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And now the wonderful topping to this beautiful cake is a chocolate ganache. So we're going to start off by adding hot boiling water. We're going to make a double boiler to melt the chocolate chips in the butter to get the ganache going. This is one cup chocolate chips. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of softened butter to this mixture. You could melt it in the microwave, but it's a bit of a risk. The chocolate becomes dry. So the best way is to do it in a double mixture like this. You can see the chocolate is already starting to melt. Chocolate chips and butter have melted nicely. Do this. I am adding 200 milliliters of cream. I'm going to slowly stir this in. I've mixed the cream in. Beautiful and smooth. I'm going to scrape the sides clean and then I'm going to put it in the fridge so that the canache can cool down. The cake has been in the oven for 20 minutes. And I had it cooled down, and chocolate canache was in the fridge cooling down too. And I'm going to dress up this beauty in the ganache. You can see it's all chocolatey and gooey. I have a few chocolate covered coffee beans, and I thought just to stack them up here. In the middle. You can't say this is not tempting. It is absolutely beautiful. It will make any chocolate lover's mouth drool. I'm going to cut into the cake and I'm going to put a little piece on the plate for the rest of my life. You can see the cake is moist and dense. <laughs> 